Okay, so happy Tuesday. This is Master of Magic. We'll be uh, continuing on from our Sorcerer's Dro Dwarf replay from our game that we started last week. Um, it's only a time thing, same turn, so all set. So if you're not familiar with this game, it's basically a remake upgrade for the game that came out back in 1994 called Master of Magic, one of my all-time favorites. Doesn't mean I'm any good at it, it's just one of my favorites. Having to relearn, I haven't played it in a number of years, so I have to relearn how to, to uh, what works and what doesn't work. The first thing you must understand is you must be expanding all the time, because that's what the AI is doing. In order to keep up with them, you have to pretty much do the same thing. Or you can try to wage a war on them, <clears throat> if you can find them. We've only, I think we've only found one so far. There's up to uh, four other wizards competing against you. Um, like I said, we are only running into one so far. Which isn't too surprising because we are on Mirror, which is the other plane of existence. There's two planes. There's uh, Arcanum and Mirror. Uh, Arcanum is where the, most of the normal people live. Like men, high elves, halflings, uh, lizard men there. Yeah, lizard men are up there. Uh, the bugs, clackons. So the clackons, I forget where they start. Normally, it's been it's been a while, <coughs> but I think they're arcane too. But there's dark elves and uh, what is it? Dark elves, trolls. Those are on mirror. Uh, there's beastmen, but I think they're on arcane too. Dwarves, of course, which we're playing. Uh, what else? I forget. There's a number of races to choose from, and they all have. That's what's nice about it. It is Clackons on Arcanum. Okay. And of course, there's the spell books. All the different spell books for four types of magic: sorcery, life, chaos death and nature yeah life and nature are not the same thing drawers trolls beastmen dark elves mirror are a mirror unless i'm forgetting beastmen are mirror and i thought they were oh no i'm thinking gnolls gnolls i think are beast are on um, okay no. Draconians. Draconians are also Mirans. What is Draconians? Draconians are what you think they are. Lizard men with wings. Anyway. So this is where we are. Our wizard info. So there's our portrait. And this game is actually, is moddable too. Um, I haven't looked for mods yet because I'm okay with the, the base game. The only time, the reason I'd want to have a mod is to be able to change portraits and stuff and be able to rename heroes. The two are down here. This is uh, Zaldron the Mage and Theory of the Thief. These are two heroes that we recruited. One of our heroes died last week. I think it was the Bard. I forget her name. Unfortunately, you cannot rename, cannot rename the heroes in the base game. Hopefully somebody will be able to mod that in so we can rename them. Um, Supposedly you can uh, do mods for the portraits. As long as they are two-dimensional, you can do stuff with them. Just have to find out how to do it. Anyway, so there's Gimpy with his eight uh, sorcery spell books. He's also Master of Sorcery and Artisifer. means he can make uh, magic, magic items from the very beginning. Um, and then, of course, Mirren. Val was it Valeria? Okay, I always forget her name. Numbers on the what on the side this just represents our current gold, mana, and fame. This is the history. So we are currently the green line. Oberic is the other wizard we run into, so currently our army strength is pretty equal. Uh, research. Uh, got a little bit of an advantage on him. Basically little spikes ups here and there, usually from going into dungeons and stuff. Magic power. I think this is just uh, how much mana you have, right? So he has like zero. So he must be doing something. 
how many strength rate I looked at, and number of towns. He does have the num the town lead on me, but that's almost when I'm at 14. He looks to be at 17, so not a big difference there. And victory. You either defeat all of these guys, all the four wizards, to boat through warfare, that kind of stuff, or you research and cast a spell of mastery. However, if you're not familiar with that, once you start casting a spell of mastery, everyone declares war on you and comes to kick your ass. So you better be ready for it. You've been warned. Okay, so. Being slow. So, um, that's, uh, all these are our little cities here. And as dwarves, we have engineers that build roads for us, which allows uh, units to move basically unlimited as long as they stay on the magic roads. They get to move as far as they can. So that's the idea. You want to connect all your cities with the roads and go from there. So that's our current little empire. We have armies out there uh, currently casting an enchant item. I think, what was I making? I think you're making Hello, everyone. an offering of some My sort. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you, and happy Tuesday. So, um, like I said, we're casting a spell, enchant item. Again, I think it's for making a magic ring, I think. Um, summon Champion, this is... There's two summon... There's a Summon Hero sp spell, and there's a Summon Champion spell. Summon Heroes gets you the base guys. Which is the ones we currently have. So, Zaldrin, Theria. Although I think we... Did we... I mean, we might have summoned one of them. But, uh, and they, they... if As your fame goes up, heroes approach you. Saying, hey, we want to I want to work for you. And then you pay them to, to work for you. So you got that set. But the, these are the basic heroes. Champions are better. Hey, Crush, welcome back. Happy Tuesday. <coughs> so you got that. And of course our armies... Not a whole lot. Most of them are just uh, defending cities for the most part. So we have that. And we have unused artifacts. We've got the Sword to Resist Magic and Helmet Protection. So. Varia? No? Right click. Okay. So there's Theria stats. We have melee. Range. Sorry, there's melee attacks, ranged attacks. Um, some units can do both. Most can only do one or the other. And then the armor, that's protect you from regular attacks. There's basically dice rolls is how this works. So basically the general idea is you want more melee, more armor, if that's your thing. Resistance is for resisting magic, so hers is really high, but that's her thing. Um, hits, this is how, many, how much damage you can take in combat. Currently she is wounded a little bit. Uh, ammo, she doesn't have any. There's our movement at seven. One of her items is, I think her items are helping her do that. Got a magic sword. We made that one for her. Shield of protection. I think we, did we buy that or we looted? it? I think we might have looted that. And then ring of flying. This is what we made for her. Gives her bonus to armor. Let's her move a little bit faster and then increases her um, melee uh, bonus. And then Zaldron. We looted that somewhere. Ring of flying. So we made that one. We made both rings of flying. They're slightly different because this one was custom made for him. Because it's got the minus one spell save, so it makes his heart his spells a little bit harder to resist if he uses them. He also has a resist bonus instead of armor to help him get magic. So I forget what the hell am I making for him? What? <laughs> I have no idea what uh, item I'm making. I guess we'll find out in two more turns. Okay, so there's that. Um, looks like that's it for our turn. Unless we want to buy stuff. Oh, these are draconian engineers. These are the. So how do? You, 
So normally we we start off with dwarves and then our settlers all comes out dwarves. So how do I get draconian engineers? Well, we, this soaring peak over here was a, or is a draconian city. So all the units that are built here come out as draconians. So spearmen, swordsmen, engineers, that kind of stuff. And they each race has their own little characteristics. Like these guys can fly. Dwarves are mine better. <laughs> that kind of stuff. And of course different units too. Like I said, they're not carbon copies of each other. They are different. I mean, some of their units might be similar, like the spearmen and the swordsmen, but then you have shaman. Dwarves don't have shaman. Draconians and dwarves both have engineers, but a lot of races don't have engineers. Everyone gets settlers. Dwarves definitely don't get dra tomb drakes. It's kind of like a cavalry unit of some kind. And then bowmen. Dwarves don't get bowmen either. Here we get this stuff. Although the dwarves, instead of catapults, they get um, cannons. Because dwarves. Albadiers. I think dwarves get those too. Magicians, the dwarves don't get. Airstriker. Oh, it's a flying ship. So, again, dwarves don't get those either. Asengard. So, not a, is this a good example? Probably not. Where's our capital? Capital is Rocketville. So, Again, these are the Dwarven units. They get engineers, swordsmen, halberdiers, settlers, hammerheads. This is their special infantry unit. These guys are pretty, you know, crushing with their hammers. Steam cannons. These replace the catapults. Golems, uh, basically big infantry as well. And then a tyrant. So that's all we can build currently. Well, we can't build this ship in this uh, city because it doesn't have a port. It's not on the coastline. So that's that. And this is, and then. Uh, You've got different resources surrounding cities. Actually, it tells you like this one's got uh, silver, two silver or uh, locations, and some mithril. Silver is for making more money. The mithril, once you build an alchemist guild, um, basically gives a bonus to your your all your units that are made based on the mithril. There's adamantium too, and um, but not in this particular city. And what it does is just gives bonuses to units that are built here. It actually tells you, doesn't it? Plus one power to uh, plus one power to nearby town. So power is related to magic. Uh, plus two, the town has a mine guild, which we do. Additionally, the city has an alchemist guild. All new units are magical or get magical mithril weapons with plus one to attack strength and uh, armor bonuses stuff. So, and then adamantium is plus two instead of plus one. Neeps? How do you say? I, I don't even know how to say that, but welcome to the stream. Okay, so that's your recap for now. Next turn. And if you have questions, feel free to ask. Okay, over on the right-hand side, we can see this is everything that happened this turn. So in this case, uh, Swordsman leveled up to regular rank. And barracks built in this city, Smithfire, so smithy. Now you can either wait seven turns for it to be built, or if you have the money, you can make it, buy it, and it'll be ready next turn. And it moves on to the next building after that. Do we want to do that? How much money do we have? 800. We'll come back to this later and see. Okay, so there's had some walls built. So now the city is uh, just producing trade goods, which is boosting up our income production. The top left, so we're at plus 22 per turn. I uh, could build a fighter's guild here if we want, but the city's its really only purpose is to make stuff because it doesn't have any real resources other than the gold. And then you have uh, farmers, workers, and rebels. You need farmers to produce food to feed the people in the city, as well as feed your troops. So you got that stuff. Workers, of course, are we're producing extra money. Uh, construction costs, or build all the stuff. Basically, the construction points here. Production, sorry, production points. Remember the DOS version? Yes, that, that was a, just a few years back. 
a few years back. This is basically pretty much the same game with uh, little little tweaks here and there. It's a it's a nice improvement, I think. And then rebels. Rebels are when you uh, don't keep your people happy because there are certain things they want, like temples and that kind of stuff. Have enough uh, units on defense, like we have the two uh, swordsmen here. And of course, you have a population top of the screen there. So we're currently sitting at 9958, 9958 uh, population, picking up a 110 each turn. So we'll break 10 grand or 10,000 next turn. And again, as your population gets bigger, they're going to want more defenses and that kind of stuff. So we can hold off on that. Okay, and then we have some settlers that were built over here in Rocketville. So settlers. Question is where we're going to send them. Do want to go this way? Oh, that's right. We there's not really any place to expand over here because this is the coastline. Could go this way. Or we could go up this way. Or we can go this way. <laughs> we have choices. You can only build cl cities uh, so close to each other. They have to be uh, four, four hexes away from each other. Question is, which way do we want to go? We'll send them up here for now. And I clicked the wrong button. Okay, I'll send them up to this intersection for now. So there they go. Okay, so that's one. While it's doing that, we want to take a look at these. So this is Mithril here. But the green shows where we can build. Like its maximum population 18, get a 6% uh, construction bonus, 19 and 12 there. Still have access to the Mithril. 21 and 11 still have access to the Mithril as well. But what's up here? Ah, Adamant Time. So. These guys are the engineers. So I actually want to build up here. Get access to that adamantium. So 2111, get access to adamantium and the mithril. You don't need both though. So the forests. Looks like we have some gold there too. So actually building up in this area might be better. Seventeen thirty percent. So we build here. One, two to there. To adamantium. One, two. Oops. One, two. I do not think "oops" means what you think it means. We're gonna build up here, I think, because I think we can get the. Might have to clear that dungeon first, but um, we have a good shot here. Okay, so you can't move forever, but close. You can show your wizard just a second. Library nine turns. I think we'll buy that now. Uh, Alchemist Guild ready in nine turns for 600, though. Uh, where's the other one? Five turns here. Ten. Mm. Smithing seven. We'll take that one. Anybody else? It's relatively cheap. Fighters Guild. Don't really need the Fighters Guild here right now. We can be patient. This one. I think we'll wait because I think all the other ones are like minor guild type stuff. Yeah. Wait on these so we can get enough money to do that. Okay. So that. So the wizard. That's it. So, it's eight sorcery spell books, sorcery mastery, artificer, and mirror, of course. So nothing fancy, and we have two two heroes, Saldron and Theria.
Okay, so this is our spirit that you get for free at some point in the game, and he is just uh, exploring. So again, I think we want to clear this out. So th I think this is the spot we want, because we'll get access to gold and adamantium. Gold is good for extra money. Can't go there. Let's build a road going this way. Actually, go build a road here first. Okay, so these are engineers. I just told them to build a road. And Neeps, thank you for the follow. And I know I'm at, I know I'm killing your name. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so this is our main army. We've got uh, two cannon units, two golems, two golems there, two hammer hands, and the two heroes. We could use a ninth unit, but nobody's nearby at the moment, I don't think. We want to go take a look at this up there. Going back to the magic road. Can't move anymore because that was all our movement. Oh, these heroes are this colonist up here. Where were we going to build you? Get plenty far enough away. Oh, there's an. Oh, that's right. There's a town in this somewhere in this area that's preventing us from building right there. So, explore. It's not it. It's not it. What is that though? It's grassland. Okay. So I don't know where this town. There's a town within so many squares. Could, as you can see, this we haven't been up here yet, so we don't know where it is. And that's it for our turn. Sure, it's not the master of puppets pulling your strings. It never is, Gray. It never is. They want you to think that, but welcome back. Cloak of Resistance. Oh, that's right. We built this for uh, Mr. Zaldron. So, what's it do? It gives him better movement, plus one. Reduces the spell saves when you cast somebody else. He's got a uh, range attack bonus, and he can resist magic. Ta da. So there's his stats. 5 attack, 11 range attack, 5 armor, 40% something something. His resistance is what? Five, only 5. But he's got to resist magic on this. No, I don't want to destroy that. So he's more resistant to magic now. Okay. Another swordsman's leveled up. And another one's up to veteran. And I'll post it. So this is one of our colonies. It's now a regular colony now. Building housing. We want our population to be up to 2,000, so we have two... Oh. How's it producing enough food? See, so normally they start off as farmers here, but these are workers, so we can actually start building stuff now. If we want. But we're picking up 300, so that's what? Seven, six, three turns? Is nine, yeah, three turns we'll have another thing, so we'll wait. We'll let that go in the way it go, go. Let it go the way it's going. <sighs> anyway, Smithfire. Forester's Guild, ready in 39, day, or 39 turns. This city has mithril, gold, and cork crystals. Oh, this is one of the northern cities, I think. The Forester Guild after we built these guys, just in case. Do I actually want the Forester's Guild? Increase the food har harvest by 2 and production by 25%. Sure, we'll leave it there. We should be able to buy in a few turns anyway. 
Okay, fighter's guild done. Walls. As in guard. So this is this is actually a city, a dwarven city that we found, and we took it over. And then we didn't get def defenses built fast enough, and it was taken over by um, random uh, neutral armies that came in. They took it back, took it back. Then we had to come back and take it again. And this time we brought in more defense, and so now it's should be fairly safe. So armor skill. Miles to build columns here if we want. Sure. Armory. So, building shaman. Oh, right. Soaring Peak. This is the Draconian city. We're going to build some more shaman because why not? Oh! That's right. Our main army lost their shaman. So, that's what we're building these guys for. Farmer's Market, Sage Guild stuff. Yeah, farmer's Market for more food, more people. And we don't have to wait to build those guys so we can get them out there faster. And then Abinax, so there. So this one's got, look at all the gold. Three things of gold and Mithril. Currently built a shrine, ready in 16 turns. Mm. More money because gold. Gold. It's producing 33 gold. That's really good for a low level city. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's the gold. Like this, you can actually see what the city court sort of looks like. So you got the barracks, there's the smithing, there's a library, granary, builder's hall, miner's guild, okay. That's why we're making so much money because we already get the miners built in there. Miner's guild. This increases the mineral uh, bonus by 50% and city reduction by 50% too. So definitely want that. Okay, so, Mr. Ghost, go help out over here and see where this city might be. Wow. It's more adamantine. Monster lair. These engineers. More roads. Okay, this is our main army. Now, now here's a here's a problem with this game, which I don't remember in the other one. Is units can't move through other units. You can move into the spot, but it's going to suck up this uh, settler into our thing, into our area, or into our group. So we don't want to do that. Get the settler out of the way. Yeah, we're more than likely going to be building right there because we want that gold. I'll do that. Ah, uh, adamantine's right there. It's just there's a temple with two skeletons in it. So I think what we'll do is have these guys crush the skeletons. We don't know it's in the dungeon yet. Okay, Fallen Temples, blah blah stuff. So, easy win for us. And you can see right here, it tells you the percentages. This is your familiar. You can either have him fight the battles for you, aka auto resolve, or you can fight it yourself by commanding personally down the bottom there. We're going to send that familiar just to speed things up a little bit. No problem. Okay, so <laughs> we picked up some mana. Uh, some experience for our units, and that's about it. Looks like Zaldrin uh, leveled up. Okay, so that. That's our movement there for our main army. 
Hammer has they leveled up there in our army. And then Zaldron. He's now a commander. So as he levels up, his sage abilities go up, which helps with the research points. So we get three research points per level. He is currently level three. So we get nine additional resource points because of him. And these are all his stats he picked up. So he's fine. Okay, so settlers. So again, can't go in there yet. You guys. So we can build here if we want. 24 max population, 23 bonus, 23% bonus to uh, construction. Dungeon, dungeon. Mm -hmm. so we can build here if we want. It's not a bad spot. Just don't know what kind of resources are really in the area. Mm, have you guys hold? And that's it for our turn. Although we have a thousand gold to spend if we want. So, get this shrine going. Going to turn. Miner's Guild in nine. What else? Hammer hands over here. Shaman, they'll be ready. Sit walls in three. We can wait. Housing. Just gotta wait on that one. Swordsman at nine. I'll find them now. Alchemist Guild. So, Forge Hammer has Adamantine here. So, get this Alchemist Guild and they can start producing some cool basic units. Sure, we'll do this now. We're, we've got the money. Hey, Taco, welcome back. How am I doing? I'm sort of sick. Mrs. Gimpy passed on her little illness to me. It's only like a, a cold, but it's in my, in my throat. I don't know if you can tell yet, but I've been coughing here and there. Uh, got a little bit of a headache going, some body aches, that kind of stuff. She's getting better, but uh, now it's my turn to be sick. I try, I've been avoiding her for the last three or four days, but it hasn't worked apparently. Okay, so Smithfire. Smithrow, gold, the quark crystals. Provides more power, plus six if they have a miner's guild. Drinking Tylenol? No. I'm drinking water. Not Dayquil. No, actually I haven't taken anything yet. I probably should take some Tylenol, but I keep forgetting to take it. Maybe my first break I'll take it. Okay, Forester's killed three turns. Or 33 turns. This was the town with. I don't know, these are the cork crystals. Never mind. So we don't actually need to build them yet. Yeah, that's right, we're going to forge this guild for more food. Okay, so the shaman. These guys are heading up to our main army because of replacement. Flap, flap, flap. Okay, now we go see what's in here. These are no mere ruins. This is an old dungeon. An old dungeon with a giant spider in it. I have the familiar read them up. 
clearly cleared the first part, the last stretch of the dungeon awaits you, or shall you retreat for now? Except, uh, whatever. So we shall accept to keep moving on. Let's move on. It didn't seem like that got anything out of that, did we? Well, oh. Gray, your imaginary ex-wife always gets got mad at me when you avoided her look when she's sick, even though she wanted me to do so normally. Imaginary wives are the best, aren't they, Gray? Okay, Mr. Ghost. Spirit. Look at all this stuff. Adamantium. Gold. They finished the road? I guess they did. Now oh, there it is. Okay, keep building. I'm trying to build a road that's a little bit more shorter length than the current road, because we weren't originally planning to build a colony there. It just kind of happened. Silver. Mithril. So, oh, this is Rocketville. So, Rocketville, we need what? So we're building a column, then it's cannon, settlers, hammer hands, then column. So this is just our little sequence of building stuff down at the city. Just to keep the troops coming out so we can use more armies if we need to. Okay, so there's that. It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. Oh, and stone gate. Is this the one that has... So the Alchemist Guild here. So that means we're producing adamantium units. So... Is there an easy way to identify adamantium units? Other than right-clicking on them. Because this is the adamantium stuff. Right? Hmm. So... See, in the old game, it was really easy to identify the, the better units because uh, they used like a little silver sword when they had Mithra and a little purple sword when they had Adamantium. And I don't see them on these units here. And their little icon, on these little screenshots. I mean, we know for a fact he's Adamantium, we just looked at him. So, these are all basic units. The three swordsmen, they're normal. Oh, when you hover over it, it says, but that's not... See the little purple icon there, but that's not really what I'm looking for. Like I said, there's a really easy way to identify them on the map. Not the end of the world, but... Okay, shrine. More gold. So marketplace in 16 turns. We'll buy that now. So armor and get us. Where city is this? So this is mm. oh, I can build a cannon. Build a cannon. Cannons are uh, you know, nice little ranged combat things. They only fire once, but they're really good against uh Units that ha or ar little armies that have multiple units in them. So, like, uh, say the swordsmen, they've got uh, six members to the little to the little unit. Cannons love those type of units because they hit all six of them at once, kind of deal. Single units are not as effective against, but against the the ones with multiple, you know, members. What word are they using for that? figures. So, our, the units with multiple figures and then cannons really tear into because of the way they work. 
Okay. Alchemist Guild over here. So this Forge Hammer, so we, now we can produce um, adamantine units here too. Winning, of course, we're winning, Catgirl. Welcome back. Hey, Ravage, welcome to the stream. The grape shot, kind of. It's just the way the game works in general. So, Siege Cannon, I mean, it's just. It's just the way it works. It's, uh, it's, yeah. It's got Savage in the reviews. Why? And welcome back, Cold Turkey. Happy Tuesday. I don't understand what people's issues with this game is. I mean, I know it's not perfect because it's got some technical issues related to some slowness here and there, but it's the same. It's basically the same game it was in 94 with the little tweaks here and there. I think it's improved for the most part. I mean, as far as gameplay goes, I think it's improved. Okay, so took up there. And we're going to build an outpost here because it's going to give us access to this uh, adamantium here and gold up there. So my dispirator, I don't really have any issues with the game as far as gameplay goes. My only issues I would have would be minor technical gripes as far as, you know, the game engine. But that can be resolved over time. So who freaking cares? I mean, it's not like the game crashes every two turns or anything either. We've only had like what, one, two crashes maybe, and was it stream number four? So over twenty hours, maybe one or two crashes. Pfft. There's a lot of games out there that crash way more often than that. Magic wise, look how much magic we have. Two, three crashes in fifty hours. See, that's I don't I find that totally acceptable because. Again, a lot of games crash way more than that. And I'm not talking about indie games either. I'm talking about so-called triple A's or double A's. They crash way more often than that sometimes. So. What spell should I cast? Do I want to cast any? Oh, we got the Wandering Island still. I don't want to. I'm waiting for my hero, hero, my champion to get summoned. Change to these games is a sin that the community has to purge the devs for. I can't allow changing games to make them better. How dare they tell us? Well, it's, it's not of that, but was it last week or the week before? Somebody was in here saying that they saw a review on Steam that said, This game doesn't have the feeling of the original game. And my first response was, What the hell does that mean? What the hell does that even mean? Have you played the original game in the past 20 years or not? Because if you've only played it once since it came, since if you played it back in the 90s and that's your memory of it, you're looking through rose colored glasses, plain and simple. But if you have been playing it this entire time, what the hell are you talking about? Because I don't understand because this game isn't that different from what it was in the 90s. I mean, this is basically the same stuff. It seems very much the same to me, too. That's why I like it so much, because, again, this is one of my all-time favorites, you know, hands down. So I don't get the whole, it doesn't feel like the original game. It's like, I don't know what game you played then, because it feels very much like the old game to me. So I don't know. It's like, how stoned were you when you first played it, I guess? Morbid Angel, welcome to the stream. I'm so ahead of its time, it was amazing. 
that's why so many other games are based off of it now. Although, you gotta remember, you have to give credit where credit is due. This game is was inspi heavily inspired by Civilization, which came out a couple years before it. So, you know, Civilization needs credit too. Although Civilization isn't one of my all-time favorite games, even though I played a, a ton of it back in the day. But the, this game basically took Civilization and made it better. Right? They cut out all that the unnecessary crap and put it to be much more interesting to me. It's the old game in a new engine. A Thea engine? Uh, it's a, I think this is a Unity engine, actually. This is built in Unity, if I remember right. From Square to Hex Base, a blasphemy on the redemption, I know. But that's not a blasphemy, though. That's, a, that's an improvement. Oh, colonization, too, yeah. I forget about colonization all the time. Yeah, PS1 release, Japan only, after the name Civ Wizard. <laughs> That's not obvious. Oh, I know who I know what you're talking about, Ravage. I, I I'm familiar with that. Yeah. I'm familiar with that game. But you're talking about just this. And Morbid, thank you for the follow. Okay, that's a chart. Oh. Who needs food? Who needs food? Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Can you to food? To send you units, perhaps you can reassign workers to boost more food. Okay, fine. I don't know what town is actually... Oh, I guess it's not really the towns, it's the armies that we're building that's causing the problem. So, not a big deal. Look, more food. Problem solved. Zero. Oops. It's crap. Where Stop you? your complaining and get to work on getting those autographed photos of Mickey and Rocket done. Mad Child will not wait forever. Mind you, thought the artwork does too. Well, hex maps aren't specific to Thea either. Hex maps are everywhere now these days. Because they're better than squares. Okay, so whose turn it is? It's these guys. Um, our little uh, engineers. Still looking to build a city over there. Eh, I'm gonna go build a road over here for now. Kinda screwed up there, but. Okay, Mr. Ghost. Hmm. So, main army, you guys are going on this way. Too far, too far. So, there's a city around in this area somewhere that prevents us from building this area too. I mean, hex maps are almost as fun as going to a prom with monsters. That's a lie, can't care. Oh shit, I forgot to respond to you on that, didn't I? <laughs> uh, Slytherin buys up these old defunct IPs and comes up with a relaunch. You kind of have to hold your breath and hope for the best. It appears they did well with this one, but I remember them tried to relaunch the old SSI Steel Panthers hexing game. It was bad. Oh, I didn't see that one. 
That's a hard one to redo. I mean, what exactly are you going to do with that one? The SSI games are pretty iconic on what they are. Although they did that with, um, what was it? Uh, Fantasy General. They did that with that one. I didn't really look at that one too much because when I first looked at it, I went, you can't, re you can't do that to this game. I didn't really ignore you, I forgot to respond is what it was. I mean, I can ignore you if you really want to, but that's really difficult. Because you're, you're always talking in my ear. Hey, Satsum, welcome to the stream. Yeah, SSI. Avalon Hill, those are some names you don't hear too often anymore. Okay, so I'm looking for a good spot. So there's no real extra resources in this area. But I mean, this can still, if we build here, it'll be 2115 gives us access to the water. So we can build ships and stuff if we want. Do we want? Do we care? That plus 23% from production. We'll build here. The big spiral bound manual. Yeah, manuals. What happened to those? I really do miss them. I, I miss being able to sit down and read a manual before you played a game. Not because you wanted to, but because you had to. <laughs> I miss those days, really. I do. I know. I, I've messed up. I know that. Sage's Guild. Um, we'll buy you now. Okay, so these are our defenders. So you stay there. That's it. We got money we can spend. So you're set. Two turns. Seven turns for our miners guild. And who else needs money? Farmers market at soaring peak, yes. Still have six hundred left. Five sixty seven. So can't get that far Forester's Mark or Guild, whatever. Looks like it's your turn. Single player game in which I play a superhero or villain, but I can choose my own superpower even if it's just like here. Have one of these five powers and be happy kind of deal. That would be super awesome. You're, the game you're looking for, Catger, is called... Um, crap, what is it? Came out in the early 2000s. I do not want that. What the hell is the name of it? Freedom Force. Freedom Force is, an, is a game you're looking for, Catger. Mandos had fun extras. Yes, they did. Yep, fake lore for copy protection. The best kind of copy protection. Okay, so let's do this stuff first. It's a fin rock. Oh, this is the one down here. Have these guys finished this road yet? Oh, looks like they are. Close. Housing. Oh, we're still building up housing here. Look at all the food. Food production out of the city. Eight for one population. Oh, this one just upgraded. That's why that's here. Okay, you're set. So, Azengard, Armorer's Guild. Settlers. I always need more settlers. Okay, this is our Draconian city. So 
the Sages Guild gives us a university. Hmm. Do we want Draconian? Do we want another Draconian city somewhere? Why not? Okay, so now oh, this is Soaring Peak. We're just there. Okay, so now it's a mining guild. Fighters Guild next. South Hold. How'd they end up with the Hammer Answer? I guess we're good on defense, so Alchemist Guild, better troop stuff, more power, more power. Sentinels of the uh, Multiverse was here. Yes. Although I can never get into that one. In the new Marvel Midnight Suns is fun. The main character has a fixed set of powers, basically wielding two sword and light and dark magic, but you can customize him from the looks and what are the sword and dark light powers you should use. Being a hero in the multiverse, so that was kind of close to it, but not quite. Th nah, nah, not quite there. Yep. Okay, Mister Spirit, go that way. Build a road going this way. They finally. I don't know. Is that a road there? It looks like it is. I guess that little road is going to the city. Some caves are mere shelter from the elements. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Look, two sprites. Should we fight? We'll fight this one out because we haven't done that yet. So, actually, you know, tactical warfare, tactical battles. <laughs> Capture. Little sprites. Look, it's a cannon that likes to shoot sprites. Move a little bit closer, though. See, dead sprites. Go there, yeah. You're flying. Oh, wait a minute. That's not there, yeah. That's the wizard. Oops. Please stop saying oops. You are making me look bad. This is the area. Both the heroes are flying, though. They get little magic rings. Get you attack. No, she can't. Too far. Okay, golem. Cannon. A little bit closer. Shoot that one. 10%? What's this 10% stuff? Ten million sprites on one map, right? 
so many sparkles, so much death. <laughs> Didn't seem to hurt them too much. I'm gonna need to work on that. Picking up my cannon. Leave the cannons alone. Piece of door in the outpost two manual. Don't say that word. Whole description of things. What word? Oops. Oops. Is that all you can say? That was really poorly done. Be a life and be a life and slaughter you and bully them to death. They started it, can't care. I just poked my head into this cave and they started shooting me. Not my fault. That they have to die. <coughs> See? They had to die. Cannons. See, look, they shot my cannons and my, my poor little helpless shaman who weren't doing anything. They were just there to heal people. Anyway, gold, mana, experience. No loot, though. Boo. Um, so we keep going. Outpost 2. Why does that sound familiar? All games sound familiar to these to sound familiar to me these get days. Ugh, speaking. Base builder RTS. Yeah, it sounds about right, I guess. I'd have to see screenshots of it to uh, really jog my memory. Okay, so these are defending the city that we just formed. I'm debating if I want to do an artifact. How much does an artifact cost? What kind of artifact do I want to make? Illusion. What's illusion? Missionary attack allows the attack you know, to ignore the, the defender's armor entirely. Haste. He sends an ally. Doubles the unit's movement and number of attacks in combat. Resist magic. Magic immunity. So, plus three to melee hit chance. Attack bonus. Haste, of course. Illusion, so it ignores armor. That'll work. Uh, sure, Ravage. Do do me a favor though. Do exclamation point balance in chat real quick, so I can see how many hours you have in the channel. That'll determine whether I have to give you permission to post a link or not. Twenty five hundred to get this thing. It's a lot. We're a little while away from that. Not many. Okay. <laughs> okay, that would be very little. <laughs> uh you're newer than I thought you were. Just a second. It's your first time here? I, I, my memory sucks. So, anyway. That would explain that. Your name looks familiar, that's why. Anyway, if you can, you can do that link now. There you go. Outpost to Divided, De Divided Destiny. Hey, Taco. Boss fight. Tubby, did you hear that? 
There is a boss fight starting. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. Uh, yep, yeah, I remember that game. I didn't really play it, but I remember it. I remember shopping for this in the store, or picking this up and looking at it in the store. I remember these screenshots. It just, I never picked it up for whatever reason. I remember, look, I remember that I've seen these images before, but I, I actually remember picking this up and looking at it in the store too, way back when, which is shocking. I can't remember what happened to me five minutes ago, but I can remember doing that. Just need a little bit of a jogging of the memory there. That's funny. Oh, Taco. Taco needs to know. Hey, Veronica, who is the coolest viewer? Who is the coolest viewer? Let me think about that. I would say Avram is cool, but he is around so infrequently, I barely know him. There you go. For those of you who don't know Abrams, because he really isn't here that often, but he's been supporting the stream for, oh, over five years, at least. <laughs> he's thrown a bit of money at me over the years, yet he's hardly ever here. Don't know why. I don't know why he throws money at me, but, you know. Okay, so, money. Speaking of money, we're at 300. I think we're okay. All our units have moved, so next turn. War Mammoths, two units would like to join you in exchange for 960 gold. So War Mammoths, those are orcs, right? Do I want War Mammoths? You get First Strike, Wall Crushers. Allows you to destroy city walls seg uh, segments during a siege battle. Chance of destroying a wall segment is 50% if the unit is adjacent to it and 25% if it is further away. Hmm. If the brain were so simple we could understand it. If we would be so simple we couldn't. We're too so simple we could understand it. We would be too simple. So simple. Hey we bag couldn't. of yeah. water, stretch your legs. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. And Tonko beat up on what is that? A spider with three light PPCs. So that is number. 16 on the bingo card, number 16. And because uh, Tonko won that fight, you get a free vote. So go back to the bingo card and click another number that you need to get closer to bingo. Number with the most votes is the number everybody gets. Just out for a bit of buying some cigarettes and milk. You'll be back soon. Who? On the subject, how our brains work. My brain is broken. Look, leveled up. Golem. So this is Ronkaville. I probably should stop build by or building stuff here other than settlers. Stone Gate. This one. Okay, this is another one with adamantium. It's the brown splotch there. Okay, that's fine. Abanax with the cannon for defense. Right? Sort of, kinda. It'll work. Anvil Fort. What are we getting out of Alchemist Guild? More power, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's our ghost still scouting around. Go that way. So keep these around for longer than dinos. He has seen so many things, he has trouble remembering anything. Thank you, Catker. And he wonders why I don't respond to him on Discord. <laughs> no 
Okay, so this army going that way. Ancient temples are relics of ages past devoted stuff, stuff, stuff. Oh, look, it's a Naga. Naga we will crush, so get them familiar. Beating up on my cannon. I use mana on that against that thing. I seem to have important questions on Discord. No, you don't. No, you do not. I'm tempted to start converting gold over to mana so we can get the, a relic going. Drug Trader was off as a. What? Rogue Trader was off as an alpha game. I don't understand the question, Taco. What type of magic are you using this round? Sorcery. Eight books of sorcery. Need more food, so... Buy that. 700 left. This is Steam Cannon. We can wait on that. Fighters Guild. We can wait. Settlers. Draconians. We'll take those guys. <laughs> Point a blue deck to run over other people's fun. Yes. That's, that's what it is. Trying to ruin other people's fun who I'm not playing against. We can start building other stuff here at this one. They've got 2,000 population, so builders all buy that. They still got a while before they're up to 2,000. Like if it turned you off. No, it didn't turn me off at all. I like Rogue Trader. The reason I'm probably going to stop playing it though, because I don't want to ruin it. Because uh, as an alpha, it's not starting from the start of the game. It's starting from two chapters. It's starting on chapter two. And we're running into stuff that is referencing stuff that happens in chapter one. And I don't want to ruin the story for anyone, including myself. So that's why Rogue Trader is currently on the shelf. If they come out with uh, something else that starts you off in a different in chapter one, we'll take a look at it again. But for right now, there's no real reason to play it. It'll ruin the story. Is the glowing top of the volcano a good sign? Which volcano? This one? This is actually a good sign because there's chaos things. This is a chaos node. The general idea is you go in here, you kill these things, although they're tougher to kill in their own nodes. And once you kill them, and then you can send a spirit over to meld with the, the node, and you get more mana and stuff that way. But you have to kill them first, but they're tougher to kill because of where they are. They're getting a little bonus. Because Chaos Node unit bonus there, so they get plus two to melee attacks, plus two to armor, resist uh, for units belonging to this realm. So, a little bit tougher fights in there. You can do it because they're different strengths and that kind of stuff. That's one of them. There's also a nature node. That's a chaos node. There's a nature node and there's a sorcery node. Uh, but I don't know what the other ones are. That's a nature node there. That. And then... There's a sorcery node floating around somewhere. I just don't know, remember where it is. This game like that Sega game? No, actually it's the other way around. That Sega game is like this game. Whatever game you're thinking at 
about this game is like, unless you're thinking about Civilization, that game is based on this game. If it's not Civilization, that game is based off of this game. That's how that works, sorry. I think I said that right. If you're thinking of Age of Wonders, based on this game. Heroes of Might and Magic, based on this game. Others out there, based on this game. Endless Dungeon, oh, most definitely best based best on based on this game. I love Endless Dungeon. It's most definitely based on Master of Magic. <laughs> hey, Trees, welcome back. And for those of you who don't know who Trees Brothers are, they are a game developer. The game that I played of theirs is what Star Traders, Star Traders Frontiers, great game. Endless Legend, Endless Dungeon, same difference. That was one of the endless games. But yeah, still, Endless Legend, based off of Master of Magic. Or at least heavily influenced by. Okay, so. Housing. More food? More food. Doesn't really matter which one you do here first. Even the baseball game I'm playing is based on this game. Yes, it is, Cicero. Believe it or not. You wouldn't believe how many games are based off of this. American football, baseball, probably, uh, Europe, or sorry, not uh, international soccer, probably. The whole idea, whole idea of the World Cup came from this game. I mean, come on. Let's give credit where credit is due. Okay, so settlers. Draconian settlers. So why draconian settlers? Why not dwarfs? Because these guys can fly. Which allows us to go to places like over here. Although that's the corner of the map, so... I don't know, actually... Oh, that's right. These I forget this map is not... The, you can actually go past the edge to make a big circle. You're look, oh, you can't really see it. I guess we'll go up here. So... This is one of those cool maps where the edge of the map is not the the edge of the world. It actually circles around. If you look at the little mini map in the right hand corner, you can actually see the camera angle going through that way. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't go top to bottom, but side to side it does. Okay, so draconian settlers. What do you want to send you? I don't know. I kind of want to check out down here now. Because this could be bigger than it looks. Although. Could get over here too. Yeah, we'll send them over here. See what we can see. Hey, Meerkat, welcome back. Isn't the world flat? Well, it is flat, but it just goes in circles, sort of, kind of. Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. Oh, they're even still taking the road, too. <laughs> and now they get to fly. Okay, so Abanax with the three gold. Um... Swordsman cannons. Oh, no forest. So none, none of that stuff. Fighters kill. What's the problem here? Oh, because I have to build this stuff first. Right? Yeah. Okay. We're good. Question, has it multiplied? There's no multiplier, it's just single player, unfortunately. Welcome to the stream, Mika. Keeps losing it. Tie him to a pole and let him let flame scourge his soul. What? Why? What did, what did I do this time? I don't even know what I did wrong. There's the city that was hiding. Trying 
troll. Troll city. Hmm. Hey, troll city. What's hiding in there? Troll spear. We should conquer this. Oh, uh, world is round? Well, it's not a globe. It's just kind of round. It's like if you take it and wrap it around a can, like a, you know, like a canned food or something like that. If you rip the label off, that's kind of how this world is. You can't, you know, go around top and bottom, but you can go around left to right. So it's kind of round. I was going to go down this way to connect these two cities. I might as well keep going. Need more engineers. Maybe the world is a cylinder. It could be. Okay, we're going to hit the... Those two little dungeons and go conquer that city, I think. Kill all the trolls. Well, take the trolls city for ourselves and start producing troll units. That'll be fun. Okay. Seven turns for this armory. Do we need that right away? Maybe. Yeah, we've got the money. that one. Housing. Hurry up and get closer to 2,000, please. 20-sided dice? Eh, I don't know. 20-sided dice is still kind of close to a globe. That's pretty... That's stretching it, you know. If you're going to believe the world is a 20-sided dice, you might as well go all the way and say it's a full sphere. Nice and round. Uh-oh. Toron. So, first contact with him. A most gracious greeting to you. I am Toron. May our rivalries uh, begin with a m as much honor as we can master. Muster, sorry. Heed me. I will enjoy taking up arms against you if it, need if it needs be. So, let us make sure there is no such need. Treaties. Alliance? No. Uh, research? No. Trade? Okay, so new guy. Let's see if we got any how much info we have on him. Oh, there he is. So Mr. Taron is the purple line there, so his army strength kinda of below us. Magic power. Mm, kind of competitive, I guess. Yeah, we're starting to just look that. Research. So we've got the edge on research. And number of towns. So he's kind of slacking. It's a disc on top of an elephant which stands on a turtle swimming through space. That's one of the ways of seeing it, Katker. If you squint your eyes just right at the cylinder, that's what it looks like. Elite cannons. Greenery. Soaring Peak. So let's see. We can build here next. Oh, we have a rebel problem. <laughs> Just saw that. If 
Project Guild or Temple? Temple. Can deal with the hostility. Build them now. We probably have a couple of extra units floating around too. We can move up there. here already? We do. Okay. A good thing they fight for freedom and hope and goodness. Well, depends on not if you're running the city, they don't. So, looking for some extra stuff. So, these guys snuck out of the city there. Uh, let's see. It's all set there. So, you guys go keep uh, Soaring Peak under control, maybe. March, March, March. I'm not gonna cross that. For some reason, they don't like crossing this river. I'm using the roads if they've done a little bit of movement beforehand. It's okay. Hey Gimpy, have you hydrated lately? If not, you really should. I know. Okay, let's go see what's in here. Ancient temple. Three skeletons. So this is an easy win. So we'll just, uh... Sound familiar? Nah, we'll kill them. Kill them by hand. So we don't waste any mana. It's a distance thing, right? Yep. There were skeletons there. Blast them with fire. Or sorceress energies. Wow, I didn't think he hit that art. Shaman's attack is not so useful against the skeletons. Stay there. It's too far for there, yeah, but. What's the sparkling things? What sparkly things? What? This stuff going around their feet? It just shows the act. That's the show the active unit. Are you talking about the sparkly things on the map? Sparkly things on the map indicate a point of interest. Like this, or like dungeons and stuff that you bring your uh, your armies over to check out and to have fights like that. Right, yeah, it's just a point of interest.
Okay, 800. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna siphon some money over to uh, magic side of things. So we're gonna use alchemy. The alchemy works, you convert gold into mana, or you can convert mana into gold at a ratio of two to one. So two gold to one mana, two mana to one gold. Unless, of course, you're an alchemist, and then it's one to one. But that's a thing you have to do at the beginning of the game while you're choosing your wizard, which we didn't do. We went somewhere else, or a different path. So anyway, we're going to take oh, 400 gold and convert it over to mana. Why? Because we're going to start, we need to save up our mana so we can make an uh, artifact item for one of our heroes. Or we can just be saving up mana to summon our champion, which is the spell over here. The four means we have four turns until we finish researching the spell. So that. So we need to start saving up mana. I don't remember how much a champion costs. I think a regular hero is what, 300? So I'm gonna guess champion's at least six, maybe 450. Okay, so the road down to this town is finally done. Where do you guys want to go? I could build a road going across this way. Not a horrible idea. Not a great idea, it's just not a horrible idea. Build, build, build. Okay, the spirit still exploring. Go that way. Seriously, go that way. Main army. Just checking out the little... Doing some sightseeing on its way down to go kick the crap out of the trolls. Tower and Keep stands before you. So, three hellhounds. We will fight this one out just because I don't trust the AI to not get something killed. Even though it says it won't. Don't believe it. To kill those purple intruders. Which purple intruders? Them out completely. I'm your hard drive, and it's taking me like a month and a half to put some of the games you want to play. <laughs> okay, Zaldrom, zap that one. I forget he can do regular magic too doesn't tap into our mana reserves. She won't be able to attack these if she goes here. Oh, maybe she can. Awesome. That's right, they have a little flamey breath. It didn't matter. She can get damage, right? Nope. Dead? Almost dead. Now they'd be dead. Yeah, that's good enough. See, no damage taken. Okay, so picked up some money, a little bit of mana, some experience. That's it. That's it. Okay, continue on. I guess we'll go this way. Next turn. Shaman leveled up again. No, sorry, Swordsman back here. So you're set. Oh, that's right where we are. Spy him now, so that'll give us that. Rebels are down to two, so we need at least 
probably two more units in there to take care of that stuff. Okay, you guys keep going this way. So, there's mithril there. It's a forest or whatever. It's a 23, 21%, 15% bonus, 24 and 14% bonus, 1936. 1842. A lot of reduction. But we're out of range. No, wait a minute. We're still in range of the Mithril right there. I think we'll build our city there as a starting point. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So we'll be able to squeeze another city down here if we want, but there's really no resources by the looks of it, so. That's okay, unless you want to grow food. It's got a little bit of 1.5 food production per thing. Hex, so it's not too bad. Hmm. Okay, so these guys are headed up here. So no more rebels with the full stack of these guys in here, but they're not going to stay. <laughs> yeah, as soon as we get the, the other lizard man built, we'll take out the cannons, the golems, the hammer hands. That should be good enough. In for a turn. Okay, three more turns left. Uh, let's research. Okay, so Smithfire. It's a Forcer Guild for food. Do that. Banispheres, thank you very much for the raid. Much appreciated. Happy Tuesday. Mammoth, welcome to the stream. Five turns? Screw five turns. Alchemist Guild, don't need a rush on that one. Miner's Guild, don't really need it there either. Today is Tuesday, right? I keep saying Happy Tuesday, I'm just dreading that it's not. Just more production, right? Eh, sure, it's only money. So surprised it is Tuesday. I wish it was Monday, because then I wouldn't be sick. <laughs> My wife got me sick. So I'm guessing the tower over here is open. Look. Magicians. Not my magicians. So those belong to what's his face. Oh. You're on vacation till next Tuesday, so you definitely don't want it to be Tuesday. You want it to stay Monday forever. Forester skill. Shrine is next. Out. 
Yes? No? Oh. Keep forgetting you can't do that. Actually, I have to get on this screen. If I could figure it out, I would. If I could figure out how to stop time, or at least uh, circle over the same day over and over again, I'd definitely do it. Not today, though. We have to go back till yesterday. Okay, so rebels are still a problem here. Got an extra unit they don't really need. This will be good enough to get those rebels under control, maybe. A little bit better. Once the temple's built, like, next turn, those rebels will go away. That'll work. Okay, after that... Um, University after this one, because we don't have access to university as dwarves. So, that. Okay, settlers, where do you guys want to go? It's troll sitting, got that one there. We can build something in here, can't we? Right there on the coastline. 18 and 6 percent bonus, 19 and 12, 20 and 3. Let's do 19 and 12. Clip clop. cannons, aren't they? Yes, they are. So they hit a little bit harder than regular cannons. Okay, Miner's Guild done here. Some more production. Smithgate, where are you? Oh. Hmm. So the armory doesn't... Does the armory get us? Fighter's Guild. Fighter's Guild just gets us hammer hands and some more armor skills so like better training. Hmm. Yeah, I'll let it go for a while. I change my mind what I want to do there later. Okay, so Forge Hammer. This is one of our Adamantium towns. Hey, Shira, welcome back. How do I do? Well, it's Tuesday. I'm sick, so doing great. It's all Mrs. Gimpy's fault. She had to go get sick and then 
do her best not to give it to me and still manage. Okay, so... I guess we'll go up this way and build some more roads around here. Dig, dig. And you guys are headed down this way. It's our main force. Going to again, clear out these dungeons and stuff. Then we're going to go down to this lizard man town and. Sorry, not lizard man trolls. Trolls. Tower and keep. Ah, look at that. A little bit tougher fight with that if you're eating there. And chimeras. So we will fight this one hand, or by hand. Stupid fireballs. Okay, cannons first. Um, chimeras. Okay, we're all right. So, Saldron the Sage, wannabe wizard. What magic can you do? Got 26 mana points to spend. Counter, what are called? Okay, I want that. Phantom Warriors, Sound of Blast, Confusion. You can't do a Cyan Phantom Beast because he's one point short. But you can summon two of these. Hey, total. bag of water, it is time to take a break. Uh, Go stretch your legs. After this fight, your next break Why is wait? in two hours. You are going to lose anyway. We'll be fine. Oh, let's blur get. There are effects around your army, making it blurry and confusing to the enemy. All friendly units become more difficult to hit. Each point of damage has a 10% chance to miss. Sure. Blur. So now we're blurred. Oh, we can't move. Okay, now for our magic. We want to do confusion on oh, Mr. Freak back here so he doesn't fireball us so much. Hit? No. It did not hit him. He is not confused. Well, that sucks. Damn it. She can take those out. So, look at that. She's flying, so they can't really, they can't attack her with normal stuff. They can only breathe fire, fire on her, which she's really resistant to. So. Uh, golems. Damn it, they're stuck back here. Not like that. Didn't do any damage to him. I don't know what he's complaining about. Okay. 
Yeah, she doesn't have much too much difficulty with the eggs, does she? As I should be. Okay, cannons, move a little closer. 20% boo. Wasn't a good hit. And he doesn't have any mana left, does he? Nope. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Five. Good job, Zaldron. Turn fire. How come? Is he not flying? He's flying. Or maybe he is. That's what the fire thing is. She's take one damage, but he's down to two health left. My dwarves alone. What was that? Weak. They are not taking any real damage there, are they? Good job, Zaldron. I think his attack's doing good damage because he's got that uh, minus two to his spell resistance. Makes it harder for them to resist his stuff. So, nobody lost. And fame increased by one. Okay, so we picked up fame, some gold, some mana. Oh, we picked up a ring. Plus two resistance bonus and resist elements. Okay. Uh, where did I decide to build for this one? Was it here? Twenty-two, twenty-one, nineteen, three. I think it was nineteen thirty-six, wasn't it? Or was it eighteen? Or, no, I think it was eighteen or forty-two. Take advantage of all these forests around here. Still in range of the mithril. So this will be a draconian city. Ah, you guys. You can stay there for now. I think. Okay. Okay. So I need to get up, take a break, and uh, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of thing. Be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. Be back, Charlie. Enjoy the dog video.